Hi everyone, this is Dee with Dee's Divine Tarot 411, and today we're going to do the Celtic Cross weekly reading for Aquarius. So let's just go ahead and get right into your reading Aquarius. I already shuffled and spoke with Spirit for Clarity of the Week. So we're going to go with your first card here. Wow, is the Tower. This is a humongous card to start off your reading. So this could basically mean something... Because this is the uh, fortune card. So this could be a big, big change, a big, big upheaval. Something that you're not expecting to happen could happen very soon. Anything from having to move uh, very quickly. Uh, it could be like b your pipes busted in the house, something dramatic. It could be um, like a job. You, you're, you lost your job. Or it could be like the plus side of it could just be like it's time to move on and go to a, build a new tower. That's always the like grass is greener on the other side view of this car. But it just means that some big thing is happening or going to happen that you don't expect. And it could shake your foundation. It could totally blow up your foundation of something in your life so just be mindful this week this this tower is something because when my wife passed i got this uh card and that shook my foundations and changed my whole world so don't take the card lightly when we get this card we know it's something really big or some kind of really big change is about to happen but we got to flow with life right we got to go with what life chooses for us because a lot of times we have free will free will choice decisions to make ourselves but sometimes things are fated their destiny so a lot of times when you get this car it's like spirit making a change um because we didn't make the change ourselves and we probably knew like we needed to make the change and still didn't make the change whatever it may be and then we get the tower where spirit says okay enough is enough i'm blowing this tower up the end is the end of what it was and so you're going on to build a new tower it looks like all right aquarius quite the card to start off with uh let's go with your second card which is the heart of the situation and that's the knight of cups so this guy could be coming with an opportunity for you he's a very romantic um could be a girl too very romantic very um charismatic very good with their words and offering you a most like um offering you like good emotions like high vibrations in their emotions and they're just really fun and good to be around but just be mindful like nobody can be like this all the time like a lot of times we show each other our representative of you know who we are but nobody's perfect correct so it's a good thing to get this card and have someone around you that embodies this and treats you this way but just know it's in the moment and nobody's perfect none of us are perfect but still awesome card for a date or a romantic gesture someone um pro yeah because valentine's day is tomorrow so this is a perfect card for a date or you know getting together with someone okay and next card root of the sit root of the matter is wow <laughs> Will of Fortune, holy smokes. So I'm not so worried about this anymore, this first card. This is a thing of the past. This is a what was. And uh, looks like you have an opportunity to come in to bring you the Will of Fortune. So this Will of Fortune is like a fortunate spiritual card of basically the world about to shine in your favor. Fortune is on your side. It's the same to me is like the justice card. It's like you get this um, justice for the hard work that you've been putting in. You stayed in natural law. You stayed in balance. And you're not causing harm to people. So you're not blocking blessings. And you're open to receive your blessings. Like Not like the four of pentacles where the dude's all tight and tight-fisted with his emotions and stuff like that. You really are open to receive your blessings and it looks like look at this 
what a big difference that is from this, the darkness to the light. <laughs> you can't beat it with the sky's the limit color of that blue right there, all the golden uh, statues they're showing you or, you know, images. And that just, uh, those are images of the sun with that color. So abundance all the way around. And then the towers coming down to bring you a new fortune. Wow. Beautiful. All right, next card we got. And this is what's behind you. And this is the victory card. So whatever's happening, looks like even though you just had a victory, whatever that victory was, it still may be coming if you haven't experienced it yet. But it looks like this is going to be your victory. <laughs> this is going to be your victory. So you're, uh, So the victory card is basically... You won in some kind of situation, something that you did could be at work, could be at home, could be a project, could be universal spiritual justice in your favor to show that you won something. And it looks like this is what you're winning. <laughs> fortune in your favor, fortune in your favor, spiritual um, fortune, spiritual fortune in your favor. What a blessing. So we got a stray cat that's been coming over here. He's a tabby cat and he's so awesome. You might be able to see him. Come over here, Tony. We named him Tony the Tiger, like from Frosted Flakes. <laughs> Come on over here, Tony. So I got food out for him, but I don't know why he's playing coy. Like he hasn't been over here a bunch of times eating with us already. So hopefully he'll come. Oh, I think he's chasing those. Uh, the little lizard thingies. Okay, so we'll get back to the reading. Sorry, they're over there doing uh, fixing on that house still. So still got to deal with um, noises and stuff like that. But thank you all for bearing with me. Okay, so like I was saying, this is the victory card. And I just see this is like you hit it out the park. This is a grand slam victory by spirit. Something you've done is going to show that you're the victor in a situation. So like I said, with that card, I just feel like you can't get much bigger than having this fortune card except for the world card the star you know those are pretty much the same or if you get the justice card still means the same thing to me it's like fortune is in your favor just like justice is in your favor and you are a winner <laughs> all right so now we're going to next card oh we had that one there that's the night and that's the tower. So the next card we got is the three of cups. So looks like it's all coming together loverly. So you got the knight of cups. Then you go into the three of cups. So, yeah, this guy is definitely either uh, coming to bring you this opportunity of victory. It looks like he could be coming to bring you the victory, uh, the news of a victory. And then you're going to get the victory of fortune in your favor and then you're going to celebrate with your homies your your um soul tribe the ones you chop it up with the ones you love the most you'll get to chop it up and toast with them and just have a ball in everything you're doing in in your success and you're winning your victory which is fortune is in your favor from spirit Wow. All right, next card. <laughs> Aquarius, we doing it, y'all. I'm a rising Aquarius. So this is the star card. And this means that, see, when you get these major arcana cards together, this is significant. You're getting the fortune, which is spiritual fortune in your favor. And you're also getting the star card, which makes you the superstar in your fortune. So this is like superpower. This is like, to me... It's like super standing out. It's like standing out, like without having to try. It's like spirit is, uh, I don't know, putting you to the forefront. Spirit is putting you right where they want you to be seen. And you're being showered with all kinds of respect and love from those around you. They can see that you're somebody uh, of importance and they treat you that way. This is the the spiritual fortune card and this is the star to get both of these just says you're a remarkable person you're a remarkable being and it's your time to get your just due you probably done a lot like and you haven't seen it you've been yeah you went through this 
So to be going from this, the tower, <laughs> where everything is broken down, to now in the darkness, all that darkness, to all this light and beauty, this is where you're going. And you hear that? As soon as I was talking about the tower, they got the sawing over there. So you've been going through that kind of rough noise, lifestyle with drama and all kinds of chaos that needed to come to an end with forever whatever reason this tower wasn't meant to last so looks like you're going to build a new tower with a new fortune spiritual fortune in your favor and you are the superstar oh my goodness beautiful beautiful cards for the first half of your cards here now we're going on to the next half of your cards and this is the immediate future and this is, wow, what's up with all these major arcana? Okay, so now we got the Cancer Chariot card. So this is fast moving spiritual energy. It's going to get you to a new destination, a new place, super fast. Like, you're going to look back with, like, what happened with all this breakneck speed energy? I didn't have a chance to even think. And now I'm in a whole new place, a whole new situation for myself. And it was spiritually guided, spiritually directed. And you're going to get there in like just a beautiful divine timing. This is divine timing from spirit. But like you see these two uh, sphinxes, you want to like kind of marry those. So you're not split in your divine masculine and that divine feminine yin and yang be balanced while you're on this and then you'll get there and you'll have a much better ride with that chariot okay so you got amazing beautiful cars this is a beautiful card of like abundance and getting somewhere really fast like going to a next level or or a spiritual level really fast so it looks like this is where you're going really fast to become the star and your uh to your spiritual fortune so, and that you're going to be chopping it up with your loved ones, your soul family, because you are the victor. Holy smokes. Okay. Now your home environment card. Wow. It's spiritual judgment. So this is all coming together like a story, like a novel. <laughs> so we're going from here to spiritual judgment in your favor. So whatever you doing or you did, you have to make the right decision for yourself on to the next stage of things. You already know what to do. So don't go against your spiritual judgment and intuition, what you know to do right now, because it's going to get you out of this to take you to all of this. So this is a spiritual judgment in your favor. It looks like this was what was and God is getting you out of that spirit is getting you out of the tower to bring you this opportunity, which is really quick moving spiritual uh, energy to get you where you need to go to your fortune to become the superstar and celebrate your victory. <laughs> Aquarius, you see this? <laughs> Whew, I love it. Okay, so your next card is the Queen of Wands. So this is a very magical queen. This is someone who gets things done. She's very passionate, has a lot of fire behind what she does. She's probably one of the best dancers, like dancers that have fire. When they dance and hit the floor, you know that they're someone that's that's in their soul their dancing comes from their soul and it's a fire that you don't see from most dancers it's something like it's, that would be the queen of wands be it a dude or a woman uh we all embody divine masculine and divine feminine but if you have like a queen of wands or you're the queen of wands you're very dynamic very magical you see the wand there with her cat she's able to like use her magic to bring forth whatever she wants almost like a magician the master magician that's why she's the queen <laughs> ain't nothing like having a queen who's very creative very um down to earth but still a go-getter she's a go-getter she gets things done and you can't lose with having somebody like this so you could be also gaining a queen in this or you have one already okay or this is you embodying the queen energy okay now and that was in your hopes and fears 
So here are your last three outcome cards. And the first one up to bat is the Nine of Swords. So this is the outcome, but it looks like it goes with this tower. These are these two are hand in hand to get the tower and then to be in this energy, the nine of swords where you can't sleep. All you can do is keep thinking about these same nine swords of betrayal and hurt. Of, it could be someone that passed and you feel betrayed by life. I know I felt that way when my queen passed. I was just like, I don't get it. What are y'all trying to prove? What are you trying to say? But I understand now it was her time and we don't have a say so in certain things like in life we don't have a say so like i was with my queen when she passed so she passed in front of me and so i'm in that moment saying how can this be how is this even possible this can't be happening right but it was all happening in front of me while i'm thinking those thoughts and i'm just like how is this possible this cannot be happening baby come back to me and it put me here because I was reliving the moments of her passing and reliving like the whole process of that day. You know, like we got up early and she would pass. Like <laughs> she had like pain in her shoulder and then she was nauseous. And next thing I know, like she was, she passed like just like that. And so a lot of times y'all, certain things are faded in life. Certain things are meant to happen and we don't have a say so in those things. So it could take us here because of our attachment to those we love. Like that's the whole thing. My mom passed in 2012, which changed my life then. 10 years later, the love of my life, true love partner, super true love, everything I ever wanted in a woman, I had with her. Life was like, well, you outgrew the situation, both of you. She needs to go on and be the Phoenix rising and so do you. And so, experiencing this if you can get out of this get yourself out of this you're gonna go on to the next stage of your life and become greater we have to go through things in life because this is a teacher planet a uh, teaching ground and sometimes we go through things for growth this is spiritual soul growth here so we want to take these nine swords and turn them you know and start taking them down one by one because you got more life to live and it looks like this is why spirit is giving you favor which is all your cards you must be embodying this queen or going to get one so congratulations aquarius we got two more cards for you next one is a page of pentacles so this could be a date coming in to see you or it could be a young one around you and they just they're very um caring they're very loving they want to spend time it's a gift of their energy or their time to be with you and chop it up or possibly go to the mall possibly go out to lunch or you know take you out to eat but they're about their money and money isn't always cash sometimes money is your your time your energy your love so they're going to bring you that this week so congratulations on this page of pinnacles because they are abundant in their energy and um, what they're giving you as a gift now um the last card is temperance and so this is your last outcome card and it's amazing because you're going from the tower these are your tower the nine of swords so this would happen then this would happen and then this will happen. You need to get back to balance. So looks like that's what you did. You married your divine feminine and masculine. You reconnected with the divine. You did what was necessary to be connected and to your spirit, your ancestors, to God, to the creator. And this is what it takes. We have to be balanced. I'm struggling with this right now because I'm in a new city, new state, new routines. I'm implementing, but I'm not completely balanced like I want to be but with this energy it'll help us get there it's easier for us to get to balance with this energy around so glad congratulations on the wonderful read this week uh, aquarius let's just do a recap so we're going to stay balanced now excuse me i got the sniffles uh, so we got the queen of wands you got the victory so all in all you got spiritual judgment in your favor holy smokes you got an opportunity coming in and it's looking like it's a spiritual opportunity coming and it's going to happen fast. Before you know it, you're going to experience your fortune 
spiritual fortune and in your favor to become the superstar, which everybody will see you're the superstar and you deserve all the attention. You've done it. You've done all the work to get to this place, to this point, and spirit is shining on you lovely. You deserve it. And then you get to celebrate your victory with your family, with your loved ones. And it was the spiritual judgment that gave you all of this. Ooh. <laughs> Live it up this week, Aquarius. What a beautiful reading. Wow. I don't even know what to uh, title this, but it's exciting. It's beautiful. You went from the tower to the nine of swords to spiritual judgment and victory and fortune in your favor. <laughs> Woo, look at all these major arcana cards. Holy smokes. Yeah, one, two, three, four, <laughs> five major arcana cards. Blessings to us. Uh, uh, blessing to y'all. Blessings to y'all, uh, Aquarius. Wow. Have a beautiful week, y'all. I'm so happy for you. <laughs> uh, I'm pulling this out like it's money, cash money. <laughs> Thank y'all. Have a blessed day and a blessed week. This is D with D's Divine Tarot 411. Blessings, blissfulness, peace, and love. Bye, y'all.